Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Scandi Tutorials. Today, we're going to learn how to change hair colour in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing that you want to do as always is drag and drop the image that you're going to use into Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to use this lovely image here. Now I'm going to change the hair colour to a sort of brown colour first then we're going to move on to black and I'm going to show you how to add shine to the hair and also try to you know make it look a bit more real by adding a layer mask on so you can see all the skin and kind of blend it all in but anyway let's just get straight into it. So. On your original background layer you want to create a new adjustment layer and select selective color which is right at the bottom there and then you want to set, select the colors and make sure it's on reds and make sure that relative is checked and you want to mess around with the cyan the magneto the yellow and the black as well so you can pretty much do all of your adjustments in here if you need to um, obviously if you're going to go for something really dark like if you're going to go black then you know you wouldn't be able to do that in here but just to just to show you quickly what you can do I'm going to try and make it as brown as I possibly can but without going too far so just mess around with the, the settings that you you know that you want you can get lots of different colors in here and it's a really good tool as well if you if you're trying to do something quite quick so yeah I'd say I'd stick with that let's have a look what the original color was as you can see it's gone a lot a lot darker it kind of looks brown but you know it's pretty easy to do that if you if you want to do something a little bit more difficult like say for example I wanted to change this to black then I'll show you a couple more steps of how you can do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to create a new group and inside the group I want to go to hue and saturation on the adjustment layer so next to the layer mask and click hue and saturation you can find it there we go and make sure that where it says master you have that selected to reds as well and you want to bring the saturation all the way down this way but first of all you want to use the eyedropper to select the colour what you're trying to desaturate so just left click you don't have to hold alt say I was happy with that and then take that all the way down and there is a couple of areas that are left so if you do have the same problem then just click the plus eyedropper click on the any area where it's affected and it will just desaturate that for you automatically as well So. I'm going to get rid of that now because I'm pretty happy with that and I'm going to get rid of that on my screen as well and the next thing what I'm trying to do is I'm going to add a layer mask to paint back around the face to kind of bring everything back in bring the clothes back in as well because I'm only really trying to affect the hair colour so the background's been affected you know quite a lot of the areas have been affected so I'm just going to try and fix that up so on this layer just add a layer mask and then select black and then go to your brush tool by pressing B on your keyboard and you can increase the size of your brush by using the keys below the plus and the bracket and then just paint back in your original layer so you can see it just starts to appear just in case any of that's been affected but I don't want to do that and don't do what I just did by clicking and holding for ages like that and then going through a few areas and then going oh I've made a mistake so you press Control Alt and Z or Z for the Americans there and then it gets rid of everything so I just do like one part and then let go of the mouse and then if you make a mistake and you have to Control Alt and Z Z Z then you don't lose you know your original selection so I'm just gonna go around all the face all the outlines really quickly and um, don't worry about going right up to the edges because I'm going to show you how to, to blend that in so don't worry just go as up to it as you can so I'd go like up to here and all the way around but you'll see when I've done so I'm just going to fast forward this part quickly and then I'll show you once it's completed
Now once you've gone around most of the edges as you can see we've still got a couple of problem areas like at the, at the top here where if we go over it then this, it's going to show the hair more brightly or, or here or down here so we're just going to kind of smooth that in so first of all just turn your flow down to 20% or roughly here or around 20% anyway and select a pretty soft brush edge so let's say I'll go with that one that one and just change the, the size and zoom in and then just kind of build it in a little bit so and it's just not as, as strong but you still get the skin color coming through and then just go over all the all the smaller areas with that but if there's any gaps like here I'm going to show you another technique to build that in here because obviously you're going to see hair there but just build up to your edges using this and then once you've gone all the way around I'll show you what to do next so I'm just going to fast forward this part quickly just while I go around the edges So once you've gone round all of the edges, you should have something that looks similar to this. Now just remember that when you're masking, that black will remove and bring the original layer, and white will bring in the mask on top. So just bear that in mind. Obviously, if you you know if you make a mistake and you try to go to the eraser tool or something like that, when you're masking, it's always black and it's always white to kind of do the polar opposites if you see what I mean so anyway you want to create a new adjustment layer and this one this time should I say click on curves and then you want to change the lights and the darks of the image so going down this way takes it darker and going up this way makes it lighter and I always like to grab at two points so I'm just going to grab about here and bring it down but don't worry about what it does to the face because we're going to bring that straight back and then grab on this side kind of add a little bit more light to it yep I say I was happy with that it looks pretty natural and then click that off then go back down to your mask layer hold alt left click and hold on the mask drag the mask onto the curves the white square and then let go and it's going to ask you to replace layer mask and click yes so what that's done now is it's brought the original skin back but also it's kept the black of the hair now obviously because of what I've done it's you know I've not gone right up to the edges but I'm just trying to you know just focus on the face just for the sake of time because I can't make over 15 minute videos until I get to 500 subscribers so if you've got a second just subscribe here and I can make more in depth detailed videos I did want to do a few other hair colors I wanted to show you how to make it blonde as well but just because of time constraints um, I can't but anyway next make a new layer on top and select your brush tool by pressing B and change the blending mode to color then once you want done that what you want to do is just paint into the areas um, kind of where the skin left so press alt and select a color I'm just trying to try and get a light color and then just paint in any little like small areas where you want to see the skin under the hair I don't know, I've changed it to hard mix. You have to click away first and then it deselects that and then you're back over here then. It's my fault. So just kind of paint in any little areas in and around the, the face. And just kind of just finish it off. I'll just keep that as it is. Obviously, it's it's for the sake of changing the hair color, not 
perfecting masks and stuff anyway so there you go that's that's pretty much how you do that now I'm just going to show you how to put some highlights in and bring in uh, the lighter tones in the hair so you want to select a new layer by clicking in the bottom right hand corner and then click on your brush tool and select the color to white and double click layer and then you want to hold alt on the blend if and grab the right hand pointer and bring it right to the top obviously move this out of the way and then take the left one just up a little bit say to about 53 and then press OK I'm going to make my brush size bigger by using the brackets under the plus and return and then where there's light areas just paint over it a little bit Now don't worry if it doesn't look like absolutely perfect because we'll we'll change it anyway so it doesn't matter let's make it a bit brighter there and then the top now I'm going to go back to, to blend if so just double click and then move this out of the way and then hold alt as you can see it messes around with the, the kind of shine that it brings out so I'm just going to keep that about there actually and then press OK and as you can see from the way that the, the lights come in it keeps it kind of in proportion with the light but also it makes it look a little bit more natural as well now I hope you like this tutorial anyway guys please do hit the subscribe button um, so I can make longer more in depth tutorials where I can spend a lot more time on it as well but I hope you like this tutorial and please like share and subscribe